Well, hello everybody. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spring day and I guess uh, some of you enjoy, really enjoy this time of the spring as I do today. It's a wonderful day with maybe some exception and the whole thing about the coronavirus which comes like a shadow, you know, like a dark cloud about our minds and sometimes we have even these mixed feelings. You don't know to be happy about the spring and the time and the fresh air or to even think of, you know, get back into the, the, the mood of concern and fears and questions. Um, along with Pastor Daniel, we decided to have uh, one message per week uh, by himself, by myself, and try to stay in touch this way and other ways with you. Uh, today I would like to read a, a Bible passage. This is like a very, very short devotional which we want to provide at the beginning of the week, at the beginning of every week on Mondays. But before I read, let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for allowing us to, to see the light of a new day and to bring our thoughts and minds to you. As we read from the Bible, speak to our hearts and ask this in Jesus' name. I have chosen for this very short meditation, Psalm 112. Psalm 112, verse 7. He will not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He will not be afraid. I was talking to a few people, and some of the people, as I've said, yeah, actually someone told me, says, she is enjoying the time. She has more time. She's off work. And she says, finally, I can catch up with some of the things in my life. She says, I really enjoy this time. So, well, there are some people that really enjoy this time. But I'm sure there are other people that um, are deeply concerned about, about themselves. Um, I know people that are concerned, um, knowing that who knows what and how they can get um, contaminated and they can get sick, and who knows how they will react as they will get sick. Because... You know, media has a lot of advantages, but sometimes it works against us. When you see that this individual died and that individual got sick and this family got sick and that happens, obviously you start thinking, what's going to happen to me? Um, but I would like to, again, remind ourselves about this passage in the Bible. He will not be afraid of the evil tidings. His heart is steadfast. Trusting in the Lord, his heart is established. He will not be afraid. As um, Christians and Seventh Adventists especially, we believe that as long as we are with God, nothing that happens in our life is at, by chance. Nothing is um, 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 at random. Uh, God allows things according to, who, to his infinite plan. And again, my whole I mean, the whole, uh, the whole matter and the most important question is, is my life in God's hands? That is the most important questions uh, of, of all questions. And if that is the case, if my life is in God's hands, so then I shall not be afraid. Um, I shall not be afraid of the evil news. Um, his heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He will not be afraid. My prayer is that even again in the midst of all the confusion that goes around and troubles of all kinds uh, my heart and your heart will be established trusting in the Lord let us pray father in heaven the giver of life and sunshine and rain and good times and bad times uh, we bring our lives today to you uh, we pray for everybody in our church uh, young and old we pray for our parents we pray for children um, we pray for those who find this as a short vacation or a kind of a vacation, but especially today we pray for those who are concerned, for those of us whose hearts are trembling and troubled. Uh, please give us peace, and may we rest in you. Take away the fear from our hearts, and we pray for you soon coming in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.